the other one, since you're going that way, and since, I'm, since I want to go that way as well, to go to the mouth if, in case I sweep, right? Mm -hmm. I come here, elbow by the elbow. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Elbow by the elbow, and I'm going to have to climb up here. Yeah. Also, because you're post, you post a design, most likely you're, you're too late to connect hand to hand together. Mm -hmm. right? So maybe I could finish here. But it's a hard is is hard to find the angle to finish here because it's hard for me to drop my hip. If you if you go flat and I drop my hip, probably I won't be able to tap it. Mm -hmm. Right? So I turn here. I turn to my side. And here I have the angle to finish. Or you're gonna have to roll, right? And then we get here. If you were fast enough to post, and then during the transition you connect hand to hand because you feel the armbar is coming, then I might have to control your head, your leg to help you roll, right? So I say I'm here. Oh, flower sweep again. You post, and you're connecting hand to hand together, right? I'm gonna still turn here. But since there is no threat of armbar, Im immediate threat, you might not roll, you might stay here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it might be hard to break this. So I either control here, or the ankle if it's close to me. I'm gonna scissors here, like my, my shin behind your neck to help you drive your chin towards your chest. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna pull your leg, not here, towards your butt, but towards my head. That's the angle for the Pulling you, right? If I try to pull you that way, you're too heavy. I have to pull you on top of me. And then... Huh? Correct. And then I just load him up on top of me where I can carry him. You know? It's, it's good too. It's, it's, you know, in order to do that, it has to be drilled like thousand times, right? Because the reaction time is so, the window is so small, you know? It has to be, but it has been done live in competition and everything, you know? But it's a good one. It's a general rule, like there is iron bars where we go belly down to from different positions, but anytime you go belly down, face the guy's leg, because anytime I face his legs, his shoulder goes like that. All right, then kind of, he has to roll. If I face your head, your arm goes here, it's easier for you to yep. pull your elbow out. Right? So anytime you go belly down, turn towards the leg. Where I'm trying to use, you know, you break the guy down, whatever, it ends. I'll pop kind of a top lock here. Um, and then when I'm, the problem is, right, maybe I'll have him broken here, but if I need a lot of angle, I have to dive this hand under to help move. And sometimes I can keep it trapped enough for here, but somebody with really good posture, this just this top lock isn't enough. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any advice on that? Is it, am I just doing a really poor job with the top lock, or uh, should I be letting go of the wrist and use my other hand? On I that think I think you should always try to first, if you have that leg over the shoulder, I think you should try to finish right there. Okay. Because. You know, you're adding stuff that you might not need, okay. you know? So from, let's say, you get there again. You punched his elbow through, uh, towards the center of your body, you got your leg over, right? Now, I, it seems like you're too, too square to him. So if you get a little angle, you still keep that, yes. And then bite down and pinch your knees. Right. Right here. Something correct. Here. Okay. Yeah, so you see that this already okay. is, is yeah. a good control. Yep. If he postures up, you just catch his wrist. Yep. Yeah, okay. and the arm bar is there. That's it. I'm not, I wasn't catching my knees. Yeah, okay. but uh, Thank you. if you pinch your knees, yep. uh, then it adds control. It's harder for him to like shrug his shoulder out. But in order to pinch his knee, to his uh, shoulder effectively, I gotta have an angle. Right? Let's say I'm here. I point his arm. 
Like if I'm square to him, I have some control, but not as much, right? So I can even throw this leg. Pivot. Now, now that's a nice angle for the iron bar too. It's way harder for him to free his shoulder, right? Compared to, yes. So it's not like just up. You can pivot, pivot, yes. Pinch together. Now it's trouble, you know. And usually he's, you know, I can't, yes, I can't pass, but when I pass my leg over, there is a little window of uncontrolled motion, right? So I would probably try to finish here, boom. You know, as I'm trying to finish, maybe he, he gets uh, figure four, like, yeah, that maybe, because now he's also trapping himself with the figure four, you know? So, yeah, a little more angle, pinch your knees together to really get over here. And then once he's over here, then, then it's a problem. Thank you. As a general rule of thumb then, like anytime you have something like fully extended, are you trying to finish there? Yeah, totally. I don't need like, the, because it's already fully extended, I don't need like uh, to keep adding more control. It's already there, take it, you know? Then if he defends, then I add more control because he's defending, you know?